I've had eight keyboard teachers, uh, three piano, five organ, oddly enough, it took that many to get the job done, I suppose. I started piano at age eight with Mrs. Josephine Bunch from Statesville, North Carolina. Uh, her name's now Josephine Bunch Sandy, and uh, she was a good solid foundation, good start, good local piano teacher, and her teaching uh, got me to the point where I was able to win that scholarship to the North Carolina School of the Arts. And so my next teacher uh, was there at the School of the Arts, Marion Hahn, who, from whom I could not ask for a more gentler introduction to the fact that I wasn't all that and that I needed to work. And so work I did and uh, studied with her for a year uh, after which uh, my heart was broken that she was moving away, but uh, in her place came Bob McDonald, uh, with whom uh, I really experienced a major turning point. While my fingers had gotten some good training up to that point, Bob went after my ears and woke them up to music and to everything that you can accomplish with a decent technique. Uh, so he really uh, incorporated that new element of actually listening to your music rather than just making sure that all the notes were right. And so uh, even all these years later I look back, uh, you know, as a high school student, I look back on those years and, and uh, I just am amazed that someone like Bob would take the time to work with students like me when he could have been performing anywhere he liked, anytime. And actually he is now performing anywhere he likes, anytime, and uh, he, he deserves it. He was a fantastic teacher and a great player. I studied organ at the School of the Arts one semester with John Mueller. Those were my first organ lessons, and uh, we, 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 didn't, we didn't get a whole lot done in one semester, but uh, that was my start. From there I went to, uh, went to college at Appalachian State, where I had two more piano teachers and one organ teacher. I uh, started piano there with Rodney Rainerson, uh, with, whom, with whom I continued the good foundation of, of uh, pressing the keys just so to get the right sound. And uh, uh, he had a very elegant technique, still does, he's still, he's still teaching there. And then I switched uh, in my junior year to studying with Alan Kent. Uh, that was sort of common in those days to study with one teacher for two years and then switch to the other one. And uh, both teachers thought that was a very good idea to get that, that extra depth to the education there at Appalachian. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, Alan Kent was a wonderful powerhouse and just a gentle giant of a man. He uh, has died in the past year and he's, uh, he's uh, the first of all my teachers to die, and uh, it's really kind of sad when you when you look back and uh, and you think about all that you've accomplished due to the generosity of your teachers. And uh, fortunately, fortunately, I'm old enough to know that uh, to know to go back to my teachers and to thank them for everything. And so I was able to visit with him uh, before he died. Uh, I also studied organ with Max Smith at Appalachian, and I was a double major in piano and organ performance. Max, of course, was a wonderful uh, fatherly figure to all of his students. He was a great teacher and a great player, and he got a wonderful organ installed at the university, and uh, he accomplished so much, and he was always thinking about the students, and even now he's still thinking about the students. He's now in his early 80s, and uh, much of his estate is going to be uh, sent to the music library at school, and so he's always thinking about enriching students' lives however he can. Uh, from Appalachian, I went to graduate school at Rice University, where I started study with my last organ teacher, Clyde Holloway. Um, I would say that Clyde Holloway and Bob McDonald are the two most intense musicians I've ever known, and of course, thanks to Clyde Holloway, I now know how to teach, I know now how to listen to every single note and to control every note with musical intention, not just technical intention, but Clyde Holloway has opened my ears and my eyes and my mind to the, to the career that is the organist. And I'm 
having a wonderful time doing what I'm doing. And I know that I owe these eight teachers uh, a great deal. And I'm so glad that I can still visit with them while they are among the living and uh, uh, help put things into perspective, not only for myself, but maybe to help them understand uh, a little bit of how much they impact young people's lives, even after the young person graduates and moves on. I think it's important for a teacher to hear these things from former students. I enjoy hearing it, and so I'm making sure that I go back to my teachers as well.